Well, greetings interwebs. Today, nice and simple breakfast, but not your basic, you know, bowl of cereal. Something good, something that'll feed everyone, something delicious, healthy, wholesome, that'll stick with you throughout the day, and you can actually do at home. It's not that difficult. It just looks complicated. So, let's get to it, shall we? Okay, so here are the ingredients we're working with. Of course, eggs and a potato. This is some sausage and some cheese. We've got a scallion, green onion, a little pepper, a little garlic salt, salsa. Now the salsa is optional. This is just me. I like a little salsa on mine. And a little olive oil because, well, you got to have something to cook it in. And let's get to it, shall we? Okay, for starters, cut up my uh, green onion. I'm mostly concerned with getting the green part. That's where the most of the flavor is. The white part just basically tastes like onion. But the green part tastes totally different. You've seen in other videos I've done where I just use the green part for, um, well, like when I do the wontons. And also, like you make some dumplings, things like that. Yeah, you want to use just the green part. In this case, though, I'm using the whole thing. There. <laughs> you can buy packages of pre-cut green onions, and pre-cut just about everything. They cost a little more, obviously, but if you're in a hurry, you can get those. You've seen in other videos where I had some that my son had accidentally left in my fridge. Yeah, those are great, because you just open the package, dump it in. You don't have to worry about going through this step. Okay, now that's done, we're going to grate a potato. This is a grater. I don't know how much they cost. I've had this thing forever. This is basically a cheese grater, but it also works quite well for grating a potato into like hash browns. Very simple. You just, just do that. It is a bit messy. But you see, it makes, you know, shredded potato. You can fry this, making hash browns, or you can do what we're gonna do here in a minute. Be very, very careful of your fingers. My mother refuses to allow one of these in her house because long, long ago, she was grating something on it, probably a potato, and it's very sharp, and you're ripping across it and cutting the end of her finger off with it. And yeah, that hurts a lot. So be very, very mindful of where your fingers are in relation to the cutting surface. That's a top tip for you. Okay, now I've got my messy potato. Get all that out of there. There we go, I'll set that aside. Now, a bowl. This, very easy, four eggs. Now, <clears throat> I'm using four eggs because I'm making for a family-sized uh, breakfast. I'm obviously gonna eat that much because it's just me, I live here alone. But for the sake of the video, I'm making a family size. So, four eggs. And quite frankly, even though I'm making a pile of it, I'm gonna eat what I eat, put the rest away, heat it up later, because it's still pretty tasty. Okay, there's my four eggs. I'll whip them up. You don't get too crazy with it, mainly I'm just trying to make sure the eggs the yolks are broken and the yolks and the whites are mixed together. Okay. Yeah, that's good enough. Now my potato and scallion dump right in. Like I said, if you're making a smaller batch, one scallion, 
and you know, half a potato and two eggs make a really nice breakfast for one person. Okay, that's it for the prep. It was pretty straightforward, wasn't it? Let's get on to the cooking part of it, shall we? Okay, now for starters, I'm gonna fry up a little bit of sausage. We'll do that first, kind of get it out of the way. This is Jimmy Dean country sausage. Um, <clears throat> I know a lot of y'all don't eat pork, so this is pork sausage. You can use turkey sausage, chicken sausage, whatever you like. Again, like I've said in many, many videos, it's all up to what you like to eat, your personal taste. We'll get that cooking, let that run for a minute, and then we'll um, come back to the good stuff. Basically, going to mash into a patty, and then just let it cook. Make it a really big patty, and then, uh, yuck. Make a nice big patty, you can cut it in half, or cut it in quarters, however many people it's going to serve, because this will make a big chunk of sausage. A few moments later. Okay, so here's our sausage. It's all nice big patty. Set it here on the plate. Set it aside. Here's our egg and potato and onion mixture from earlier. Okay, I got a fork. I'm just going to mix it all up. All nice and mixed in together. Okay. A little bit of olive oil, bottom of the pan. Nice and hot, spread it around. I put the fire down on low. I had it on high um, just to get things going once the sausage started cooking. It's nice and hot, turned it back down to low. The pan is now ready. We're gonna take this, pour it in, spread it around. mixture <clears throat> covering the whole pan. Sprinkle a little garlic salt around it. Don't get too crazy with it. A little bit of black pepper. Oops, oh, almost dropped it. I'm just putting a little evenly placed around just for flavoring. Turn the heat up just a little, <clears throat> throw a lid on it. I'm gonna let that sit and cook for a couple minutes. Eventually. Okay, we're gonna cook my little. I've got my all time, you know, favorite here. The Mexican grated cheese. And this is why I like the grated, because I can do this. I can sprinkle it around, evenly spread it. Okay. It has cooked long enough now that it is fairly solid. We're going to cook this a lot longer than you normally would cook, say, an omelet because it's got potatoes. You want the potatoes to kind of get cooked. Now, because this thing's so big, I'm going to use two spatulas just so I have an extra to help me get under it. There we go. Okay, so we're going to fold it <clears throat> in half like you would an omelet. Normally, I would have put the salsa in there, but I uh, <laughs> honestly forgot. But again, that's personal taste. You like salsa, you can put salsa in it. I'll put the salsa over the top of it, because that's what I like. Now, we're gonna let you sit and cook for a little while. One eternity later. Here's what we're working with. Mmm. It looks like a big omelet almost. So it's full of potatoes and onions and cheese. 
give it a little flip. <clears throat> Make sure it's nice and done on both sides. Let that sit for about another minute and even less because it's basically done. We're just kind of browning it now. And we'll set it on top of our sausage. Okay, that's good. Turn it off. Plate it up. Set this thing right up on top of our sausage. Woo! That is good and hot. Now again, like I said, me personally, I like salsa. You know, tomatoes, anything, any kind of vegetables, really would be good. Mushrooms. Salsa just kind of has a lot of good of everything in it. No mushrooms. There, spread it around a little. Cut her open. They can see the inside. An omelet with potatoes. The hash browns are basically built in. I'm not sure how this is focusing, but hopefully you can see the delicious breakfasty goodness. <laughs> and so there you have a fairly easy breakfast. You see there wasn't a whole lot of prep, wasn't a whole lot of cooking, just a little bit of time. And this is delicious, nutritious, it's filling. It'll stick with you. You're not gonna be hungry by 10 o'clock. And um, if you have any Ideas, comments, suggestions, feel free to um, comment below. I love hearing from y'all. And of course, if you wouldn't mind, like, share, subscribe, hit that big thumbs up button. It really does help the channel a lot. And now uh, I'm gonna go have breakfast. And on that happy, delicious note, be seeing you. Oh yeah, this is way more than I can eat for breakfast. Heck, even that's probably too much. But. I can eat this up later and have it for lunch. And one of the things about being all alone, you wind up having a lot of leftovers. Things you wouldn't hear on a TV cookery show. <laughs> Anyone can make this. You can't, Beatrice. Sorry, you can't beat rice. <laughs>